Whisper Screams Part 3 win? <laughs> too loud, dude. It's too, way too loud. My bad. My bad. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can't do that shit without coughing. Just breathing into it. It hurts. <laughs> the look behind. <laughs> yeah, you're a fucking small one. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Like, very faint eye contact. Oh, man. That ending shot took us so long to get it. <laughs> Do you remember how long yeah, it oh, yeah. took? It took like yeah. an hour. It was, it was the to most get takes. a nine-second part. Probably the most takes of one specific scene we've ever had to do. Couldn't steer it. It was very funny. Not stop. <laughs> All right. What's up, you silly geese? Welcome to the Diggy oh. Dine Show. Today, I have a fun one for you, Austin. Why not tomorrow? See you. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. We'll be right back. So I uh, asked the good people on our Facebook page, I asked them, what is something that gets a lot of hate, but but you don't think it deserves it? You like it. Okay. okay. You love it. Yeah. You want more of it. Of it. Yes. So I, uh, I grabbed some screenshots from that, okay. and they also explain why. <laughs> oh, perfect. So we can dive into some... Uh, some good uh, psychology. Make fun of all of you. Some good psychology here. Real quick, before we get started, we do have a Patreon. What? Link in the description below. I know. News to me as well. And we're going to be doing extra content over there. We have uh, different tier lists of bonus perks for everybody. If you want to go and join our uh, our team at Patreon, that would be a lot of fun. We'll interact with people over there also, personally. So you can like no. we can say hi. We say hello, perhaps. Hello, per perhaps. Chance. Um, so link in the description below if you want to help us out on Patreon. We really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into this. So uh, first comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> first comes from William Kraft, and he says, "I sincerely don't understand the hate for Arby's. <laughs> they have a very diverse menu." The food is good. The price point isn't terrible. Sure, they're not reinventing the wheel or anything. It's meat on bread. But for a fast food restaurant, I would argue they're one of the higher quality out there. I've never understood people disliking it. Because it, if it's just, I don't like the roast beef sandwiches, then cool. There's like 20 more things on the menu. Pick something else. <laughs> It's the house of beef, Bill, baby. I don't know. I, uh, I think shoot. he's a, like a manager at, or like he owns <laughs> shares in Are Arby's. You in the pockets of big beef. <laughs> yeah, what's uh, big beef up yeah, I to, complain. William? I wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm an Arby's stand myself, dude. I'm, I haven't I'll been in so long. I'm dying that hill with you. Arby's is just a fast food nickelback where like everybody pretends okay. that it's shitty for okay. the sake of the online banter. But like, is it real- one of those? Is it like so good people don't want other people knowing it's oh, so it might, good? It might be so like they're like, no, it sucks. We we promise it sucks. Being locked into curly fries is a bit of a cringe move. Oh, that's your only choice. You only get curly fries unless they've changed that. But, dude, they have, like, Euros. They got Chicken Sammies. They got, like, little pizza slider. Like, it's kind of nuts. Like you said, order something else. (laughs) (laughs) You don't have to always get the beef and cheddar, dude. (laughs) I like how you're on this guy's side. I told you I wrote this. Hell, yeah. Name another fast food place that has horseradish as a condiment sauce to give you. I actually you don't know. One, right? I don't eat much fast food, so I'm not sure. Well, let me tell you, as a resident <laughs> fat ass, there's zero <laughs> other fast food places to have horseradish <laughs> as a sauce to give you. <laughs> All right, moving on before Austin gets too heated. I'm hungry and order some more. Nikki Fredrickson says shaking soda is not that bad. Carbonic acid okay. hurts too much in my mouth. <laughs> no! <laughs> carbonic. Yeah, carbonic. It hurts too much in my mouth if I don't, so I shake most of it out. So, oh, Luna, little is left. I think she meant to say, so only a little is a little left. Luna. A little Luna is the little person inside of her that can't handle carbonation. <laughs> <laughs> happy little Luna. <laughs> Yeah, that's a crazy thing to just drink a different thing. Just don't, <laughs> just don't drink carbonated drinks. I don't know. Uh, get a lollipop. Or what are those called? Ollipops. Those are Dude, like Shaking soda is not bad, though, man. That's kind of crazy. You know, it would be probably easier if you poured the soda into a cup, put a straw in there, and then defizzed it. Because shaking a can and being like, oh, wait, 25 minutes. <laughs> kind of nuts. That's a commitment <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Yeah, you just added an extra half an hour to your day. <laughs> this um, would be great in 12 hours. <laughs> it's completely flat. Now that it's warm and 
and flat. Warm and flat. <laughs> Little Luna will be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan Scoggins says Scoggins. homework. That's all. I, I enjoy doing homework. Unlike most people, I wasn't the kid that would remind the teacher of homework or anything like that, yeah, but sure. I genuinely <laughs> find joy in homework. I guess it's because I get this sense of achievement for accomplishing it, but I don't know, whatever it is, I like it. I think that's funny. I think that's what all the teachers wanted you to think when they created homework <laughs> was to be like, maybe they'll feel like they're nailing, they're like doing extra work and right, feel good right. about themselves. But, bro, boo. I <laughs> you mean more homework? Not only did I hate homework, I hated school in general. Yeah, right. Yeah, school is pretty Awful. lame. And doing homework is the worst, too, when, especially when your parents are dumb as fuck because you're just like, can you help me with this math problem? And then they give you the wrong help. Like, they don't even know what they're doing, but they're too proud to be like, I don't know what this is. So they'll just lie confidently. And you'll turn it in and be like, I get it. The is this a like, personal thing? Yeah, of course it is. This is rooted in reality. Turn it in and be like, my daddy helped me with this. And he's like, well, your dad's a fucking moron. <laughs> well, can you write that on a note for me? It's like, I got a D, dad. He's like, <clears throat> well, you must have well, changed what I wrote you. Yeah. I don't know this new math. <laughs> I, have, I bought a new brand of beer yesterday and it, it's kind of been messing with me. I don't know. My head's not on straight. Yeah, doing homework's kind of nuts. I'm trying to play video games, but I can't no, not I feel doing it. more homework. I feel it. Uh, Larry Andrews says Kiwi skin. I knew, I knew you would love this. I saw a guy debate that eating kiwi skin is like opening a shoebox, taking the pair of shoes out, and wearing the shoebox instead. Shake my head. I mean, that's a pretty bad analogy. It's a pretty but bad one. Kiwi skins is nuts. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so it's like the out only of left fruit field. That people were like, well, "Hold on, now. It's like, I feel like you're just too lazy to open a kiwi. Is all yeah. you're just trying to justify? No, it's not that bad. I'm like, it's kind of gnarly, honestly. Well, so I I used to partake in kiwi skin, yeah. and then now I I, uh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I think as I've gotten older, it's mm. like. That it's yeah yeah no, there's something yeah the little the fuzzies texture. on it is just too much yeah too much. also too I'm a prude with kiwis I'm like if it's like anything but in the perfect condition I'm like not oh, too squishy be gone kiwi <laughs> you know, not not for be me be gone peasant just roll it off the table <laughs> some <laughs> peasant will eat the skin and all I'm sure <laughs> well Larry Andrews exactly Larry and Justin can fight over it <laughs> Philip Norman says I'll Philip Norman give me twenty bucks. Offers on the table, Philip. Uh, mayonnaise isn't that bad, to be honest. Just need to build a tolerance to it, and it's an amazing condiment. Bro, who's on who's on team against mayonnaise? That's like, what I was yeah, wondering. I was like, who are you friends with? Where they're like, oh mayonnaise. Dude. With with that being said, I do know some people that are repulsed by mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. It's like a which texture is, thing, right? I, I don't maybe I don't I know. know. So I know a couple of people that hate sour cream because they think they say it reminds them of snot. Um, and all I can think of like, man, which older brother spit in your mouth? And yeah, your kid, where you're for traumatizing sure. this shit. You're having like uh, tacos, and then like your brother <laughs> just tacos. spit. Ugh, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. If you've got some trauma related around <laughs> goopy liquids, I totally get it. I drank somebody's <laughs> six spit one time that was, like, was in a Jumex can, and it was like never had Jumex since. <laughs> like, I, I get, I get it. But just like randomly hating on mayonnaise, like why? Like, it looks like cum, and that's gay. <laughs> like mayonnaise sucks. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> I once watched somebody uh, drink someone else's puke on accident and that was probably the most disgusting thing i've ever seen wow yeah. that's pretty foul dude like swallowing your own puke or like even just puking having yeah. a taste it's like pretty already bad. a crazy thing but it's like that's just for you and yourself to deal with <laughs> yeah. but like someone else's puke especially like puke is the get out of me stuff like your body's <laughs> like no i can't and then you're like oh my god let me get some of that it's gotta do something to your gut biome that's puke so is foul. the get out of me stuff <laughs> austin dickey 2023 dude that sucks that's so foul all right tyler rubio says ska i love ska it's my favorite music. Okay. Nobody else likes it. I think it's fun. Nobody. It makes me happy. It also <laughs> takes a lot of talent and creativity to arrange a horn section to play with a punk or a Jamaican style band. You must feel bad. I feel like where are your friends is like assholes where they're like shitting on you liking ska. I don't think there's anything wrong with ska. That's like I feel bad that he's in a yeah. place where he's got to be like, why does everybody hate ska? No, I, I like, get I, it. I don't think I've met a single person that I don't, has been like ska sucks. I mean, I've I've definitely heard that take before. I don't listen to ska, but I yeah, I don't, I don't know. Have you ever seen Real Big Fish Live? 
I have not. That's why you don't like Scar. <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> that's the only yeah. reason. But I just thought that Change was funny. Life. Scar. <laughs> yeah, what is, a I what a controversial it. genre. <laughs> Stop hating on Scar. <clears throat> All right, this one's a good one. Sydney Gordon says, what I thought Sydney? Jared Leto's Joker was actually extremely well done. I think he deserves more credit than what people give him. I don't like the costume design, but that wasn't his fault. That's fair. He was the only part worth watching in Suicide Silent. Uh, <laughs> Suicide Side Squad. Uh, I thought the slow jury laugh uh, was creepy. And I loved how different his portrayal was. I wish I could explain better why I think this. All I know is I kept wanting more Joker scenes and was surprised to see how poorly received his version was. I just think it was a cool way to reimagine the Joker. He was a lot less expressive in his movement and had a more somber tone, which I thought had its own creepy feel. Yo, I, damn, I've never heard anybody... <laughs> yeah, I've never heard anyone I think, uh, defend that. Yeah, I mean, that is fair just because the like, Suicide Squad as a whole was just such a fucking train wreck of, a, of an experience and what it was. And I don't know if you've seen the, the Justice League at all, but there's like a... I think there's like a deleted scene or no, it's, it's in the, the Snyder cut where they bring back Jared Little's Joker okay. and he's got like longer hair and he's talking to Batman and he's kind of, he literally says that we live in a society thing, like as like a mm. meta joke and it's, it's really not that bad. Yeah. I think, uh, I think there is like an argument to be a bit had here. I don't, I don't know if I'd ever say it publicly, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, but I thinking about it. Like, yeah, I mean, he wasn't the worst part of that movie. There yeah. was ma- many worse moments and way more forgettable characters and yeah honestly kind of surprising that harley quinn got the movie and not joker after the both of their performances in that film i think with the, with him i think a lot of it just had to do with his costume he looked yeah, like way looked too like hot topic mm-hmm. edgy that is something i forgot about too the design was leaked before the movie came yeah. out so people were already had the idea in their head yeah. that this was going to be shit i wonder if that kind of even mm-hmm. you know <laughs> it's like this it's so funny he's just the worst like place at the <laughs> wrong tie he's like oh i get a dc contract and then why did they leak the damage thing <laughs> like, what did they do the skinny shit on and him then morbius and morbius yeah. and then more, more billion bucks like he's just i'm just trying to be a superhero <laughs> just let me be a i'm just trying movie. to run a cult and be a superhero <laughs> yeah. come on guys um una inked says uh easy coriander <laughs> Like they've been waiting for this moment. Like I get that the soap taste is a genetic predisposition for some, mm-hmm. but just because you're not used to it in your food doesn't mean you got to take a deuce on other people's dishes or culture. Also, I'm pretty sure she meant cilantro, <laughs> and she said cor because I've never heard the comparison of soap taste to coriander, right, it's usually but cilantro. it's always cilantro yeah. is is so I, I she might have misspoke there. Uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I don't have enough. <clears throat> but I just thought that was really that funny. Just it's like coriander. <laughs> right. Just open your other. Oh, it's delicious. Easy. Everyone fire. hates. I've never even thought about mm-hmm. it. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, better I've, not I've put never, no coriander in there. Yeah. I've never specifically like pointed out coriander in a dish and been like, are you kidding? There's with coriander that, in here. <laughs> with that being said, though, cilantro is mm-hmm. very divisive. Right. Yeah. Because Again, you have thing, yeah. the soap thing, which I think which she maybe meant it cilantro. Apply. Maybe it applies for a cilantro or for coriander. I don't just, know. Maybe I'm just not aware. Because it's a, if it's a gene, I imagine it applies for more than one food item. Probably. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, I've never personally met anybody that's got a vendetta against coriander. Yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of it's a great spice. Yeah. I put it in my guac. <laughs> it's, it works well. <laughs> Someone's going to battle against coriander. Yeah, just like, are you kidding me? Open somebody's pantry and just go. I have to go. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> Can't be friends anymore. Uh, Gabrielle Sanborn says, "Furries." Yeah, the fandom does have a lot of hate, and I don't like the fandom myself. But if you exclude the people from the fandom, there are some awesome people to hang out with. Just because people call themselves a furry, either they like the art or the costume or whatever, doesn't mean they're automatically associated with the fandom or seem or seen to be as some horny as fuck person. So, <laughs> go ahead. So there's there's a lot to unpack here. Um, so he's uh, ba- yeah. I think that the the horny thing is is going back to uh, talking about sleep token and mm-hmm. people like sleep token because they're horny. Right. People are just horny, right? Yeah, so exactly. if you're in a fur costume mm-hmm. and you get horny, 
you're just now a horny you're a horny fox yeah, you're a because you're wearing it yeah i think but, uh, yeah th- I, I mean obviously the the furry community gets a lot of flack for the sexual aspects but i mean let's not act like those fucking nerds at comic-con aren't fucking also like, we don't <laughs> give them shit for being like oh will you like anime sex you freak <laughs> like yeah. it's just because their thing is so right. visually shocking yeah. that it's like you now are like do you guys fuck in the animals <laughs> like it just puts the thing in your head and it makes you weirded out but i so i think that's why people are so like <laughs> associating the sexuality yeah with it because yeah I, I mean i've dude i even follow some youtube creators that i didn't for years that i had no idea and then i found out recently that they were furries and it was like you yeah, never would have guessed this dude yeah. dresses like a horse on the weekend <laughs> <Right. you know? laughs> but i should i mean if that's his thing clearly he's not like a, a freak or anything so I, right. I, obviously there's gonna be bleed over but right yeah i mean i think yeah, i think furries get a bad rap but but also, come on, <laughs> you got to realize what you're getting into. Like, you cannot dress up like an animal and not expect people to be like, whoa, what a weirdo. Like, that's just something you got to sign off when you become a furry, I think. Yeah. You, you got to sign away. It's like wearing a tail to school. Like, you com- you know what's going to happen. <laughs> like, people are going to be like, whoa, this fucking cat girl. It's, just, it's unavoidable. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Megan Patton says drinking iced coffee in winter is something that she gets uh, frowned upon for doing. I also agree with her, though. I love iced coffee at any given point in time. Dude, it's like if you ever had... Uh, like hot soup on a hot day. It sucks. No, it's amazing. I don't know what you're talking. About. A hot I, soup I, on a hot day? Yeah. Oh, no. It's, fucking, it's like a it's the it's worst. Like euphoria, dude. What? It's, it's like going in a sauna. It's just like so. Much, it's like steam to the face, but it's also hot outside. It's I like also perfect, like feeling oh. very uncomfortable and sweaty. Well, you, I mean, you could, you could uh, if you like, don't like feeling cold on the inside and outside. <laughs> you can do it with the coffee, right? It's like can be uncomfortable, but my point is that I think the the two extremes of the thing make it like a pleasant experience i mean apparently not for everybody i disagree I, love, I disagree i love a hot soup on a hot day there's something about it it's like like a big steamy bowl of ramen or like pho or something and it's just like 100 degrees out it's just tight just sweating profusely and you're like oh my god if you also feel this way, let us know yeah, down in the comments no, below because I think, think you might way. be the only. That sounds terrible. No, try it. Dude. Well, you said you hate it, but if you haven't tried it, it's pretty sweet. Okay. I recommend it. All right. Alex DiCaprio says Comic Sans. <laughs> it's a good readable typeface. <laughs> it's only hated because it's overused and misused. Do the Comic Sans thing. I don't know if I, don't, if I told you my Comic Sans. Uh, moment that I had. No. I oh god, it was the it was when the towards the end of For the Likes of You, it was the last EP we were putting out. We got like a stream video made for each song and uh-huh. I was like I'm just gonna put like a small lyrics on the bottom of all of them just so that there's like a little more engaging yeah. in the black spot. And I did the first video and I didn't tell anybody. I was just like, oh, let's do it because it's like who cares? It's just a small lyric on the it's a stream videos. Uh, right. <laughs> I got like three texts the next day. Like, did you put fucking comic sans on that video I made, dude? Are you serious? Just freaking out. I was like, oh, what's, what's wrong with comic sans? And I was, just, I didn't realize that. Yeah, like editors and video guys fucking hate comic sans and papyrus. They're just like anti. I was cry laughing. He was so like he was not joking. He was pissed off at me that oh I did that, God. and I was like crying laughing because I was like, I've never seen you this emotional before. And it's over Comic Sans. <laughs> it cracked me up so fucking bad. Why'd you do oh, it to him, man? Jesus. Had to do it to him. <laughs> All right, Montana Funk uh, that's says the that's, that's the, the name. Take. That's the <laughs> name. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I think the stink is good in Montana. <laughs> that's, uh, Montana says ketchup on mac and cheese is really good. That's a weird one, man, because you're already working with some gooey, slimy, right. wet, mm-hmm. textured shit, and then you're putting ketchup in it. Yeah, that's... I mean... I mean, okay. That's like a, I will say, yeah. I will say this. I will say this. Uh, what is mac and cheese? It's cheese, <laughs> and it's mac. <laughs> It's pasta. It's it's pasta and it's cheese, which is essentially pizza, and ketchup is essentially tomato sauce. So in a weird way, it's a very uh, it's pizza soup. It's mac and cheese with ketchup. It's just pizza soup. A fun video concept is getting. How do you get from pizza to mac and cheese? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're both bread and they got cheese. And they got, ketchup on they it. Got it's tomatoes. A it's just That's a, pretty. It's funny. a wet. That pizza soup. is. 
hilarious. Yeah, I've I've seen a few people do the catch up on Mac thing, and I've I've tried it, and it doesn't. It doesn't add enough for me to be like, whoa, this is a must. It's yeah. Just like, I mean, yeah, sure. Like, right. it's okay. But just like, I feel like with mac and cheese, the less is more. Yeah, right, times, right. Like, the less you like add to the mac, the better it usually ends yeah, up. Yeah, it's a simple uh, creature. And it makes me think of like the new, like TikTok and YouTube shorts have like, you know, obliterated food content. There's just like so much of it now. And it's yeah. caused restaurants to make like really flashy you know, 30 second TikTok. Right. Like food, yeah. food that only, it's not like eatable, but it's like, it just looks, looks nice insane. on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, and it's like the sauces, dude. It's fucking like kills my food fantasy when I'm looking, watching a, like, yo, is that a fucking bunch of chicken and a waffle cone? And then they're like, and here's ranch and cheese and a spicy sauce and a house sauce and honey. And you're like, <laughs> what have you done to this? This is a, a mess fetish now. Like, your guys' restaurant is for furries now and not <laughs> a good food. Like, I can't even see the food Damn. anymore i hate that shit it's such that's an fair. obscure thing that's, to be mad fair. about but it's like bothering me a lot <laughs> more and more lately <laughs> okay oliver caspierre says cold hot dogs yes the water is disgusting yes it's better cooked but something about that late night snack you can see cold glizzies in the fridge I like how he, like, admits right away, yeah, it's better cooked, but cold. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. And it's I know so- the water's nasty. <laughs> I think you're just lazy. <laughs> you're trying to justify it. Some weird it's like when way. you're, like, really stoned at the end, of the- and you're just like, I just need something. Like, yeah, you don't unless- want to cook anything. You just throw a bunch of shit in a bowl. Unless he's, like, a broke 15-year-old or something that, you know, is at home. Yeah, so- maybe. I-, I get that, you know, the- you put the hot dog on the piece of bread, like, a little ketchup, like, lame-ass cheap hot dog, but you at least, like, flash it in the microwave for 10 <laughs> Is this cold? Like that's nuts, bro. That's I'm like trying to wrap my head around just eating a fucking cold Oscar Mayer. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. That's worse than the Kiwi skins, I think. Really? Yeah. Damn. Damn. I also like too. He said, okay. "Yeah, the water's bad. You don't like dry it off. You're just like, like straight, straight out. You're like, let me get the juice too. Oh, I don't like that part. Like, don't eat that part. Then leave the juice off of it. Nobody's making you eat the cold juice. Also, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bonkers, bro. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Um, Art Her. Art Her. Okay. That's two names. Art Her says, Peeps, they're delicious. <laughs> All right. Sugar coated, colorful marshmallows. Mmm, I love them. I hate peeps. Yeah, I think like I hate peeps. They're those ugly, gross little faces staring at you. <laughs> the oh, they're aw- the they're torment. awful, dude. And they look at you and they go, "We suck." Yeah, Come they're so we well. To be fair, I don't like marshmallows either. Oh, okay. The well, only it's a good opener. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like 90% of what this thing is. <laughs> the only the only thing that a marshmallow, the only way I'll eat it is if you s'mores. If you if you literally <laughs> melt it right. and then it becomes a cream, yeah, it cre- using then it's it to fine. make something else, not yeah. just by itself. But a cold, hard peep mallow? <laughs> fuck no. Yeah, Gross. I don't know where the like because like at one point it was like internet discourse where we all just agreed like yeah peeps kind of suck yeah. huh? like what's that about yeah and it, same it, with candy corn maybe it's too because they don't last it's like if you because ha- you can only like have one before you're like wow that was a lot of shit and maybe you want to save it and then you come back in three days and they're all rock hard <laughs> now and stuff. Maybe that's why they're tra- they're not individually wrapped they probably do a little better <laughs> yeah maybe it's all in the delivery but yeah I feel you I've never been. Like excited for a pee. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, to the no. Screw peeps, they're <laughs> gross. Okay, uh, no. oh my god, this one, dude. This one I love yeah, this one, you. dude. Okay, uh, Jenny Orban says, you know, she didn't say that. I'm just adding. <laughs> right. I'm adding that for dramatic effect. I kind of like the smell of breastfed baby poop. It smells just like buttered popcorn. Breastfed baby poop? Yeah. Who's this person? <laughs> you gonna add her? You gonna, I'm gonna block her from every social media? <laughs> Jenny Orban says. Yeah. yeah, that's kinda that's nuts. She got the cilantro <laughs> gene, doesn't she? <laughs> It also oh, makes you baby? love the smell. Dude, of- imagine you're cooking popcorn and she goes, is that baby shit? I mean, popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I meant, <laughs> is that fresh breast milk baby shit? <laughs> or uh, butter popcorn, I meant. 
goes to the movie theaters. Yeah, can I get a let's see? Let's do Avatar, Way of Water, it's like, uh, honey, large why is your... Sprite, and then you guys have uh, baby poop. It's like, <laughs> why is your purse stink so much? Like, shut up! I'm sneaking it in, dude. <laughs> when I'm stressed out, I sniff it. <laughs> Dude, that's wild. I mean, if it truly smells like that to you, then like uh, that makes it's sense why wild. you would like the scent. But on paper, I don't think I'd, I'd take that to my grave. I would never tell a single soul about that. <laughs> <laughs> and if somebody caught me sniffing, I'd be like, I was a check in France. <laughs> Something I, I'd lie. She also put in parentheses, at least my own kids. <laughs> Which like, have you I'm, attempted dude, this to smell honestly, other? Honestly, <laughs> way, way worse that she included that because no single part of me thought the other thing until she she said that. I wasn't even considering <laughs> that she was like, I'm not a freak or nothing. Like, That's I don't, what I said. I don't whiff other kids <laughs> breastfed dookies, but do you want me to change your kid? <laughs> just, just way too over enthusiastic. Yeah, way excited. It looks like you were breastfeeding earlier. I'll, I could change it. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, respect to you for hey, telling people the, yeah, uh, the for world real. that. Because yeah, again, crazy. I'm dying with that. You couldn't put a gun in my head and get that out of me. <laughs> like, there's, I would never tell the world that. That's nuts. Uh, okay, moving on. Um, Hunter Barker says, "Well, a lot of people hate me. I don't seem that bad. I smell a little bit." You know that? Why did you fix that part? What do you mean? You're just accepting that as a part of you? <laughs> yeah, I stink, but like, what's so bad about smelling? <laughs> I like me. I like. I, like I don't me. seem that bad. I just <laughs> thought that one. That one was funny. All right, no, last I like one. Me. <laughs> last one, BLBD Was says, the last guy a furry, too, it looks like? I don't think so, icon. no. Oh, it looked like a wolf person. No, it was him holding his kid. Oh, that's a baby. <laughs> it's a wolf thing. <laughs> so All right, last one, BLBD says, a lot of people hate anal, but it's not really that bad because <laughs> I'm not the one getting penetrated. <laughs> yeah, was gonna, that was going to be my follow-up. I'm like, well, which end are you on? <laughs> A lot of people hate anal. Like, what the people you give anal to? <laughs> <laughs> what, um, hmm, the ratio here is it's a little different. Sense. It's a little bit different of an experience. Like yeah, most people. Most people probably. Hate anal. <laughs> <laughs> Me I love Kevin's anal. shaking his. He's like, <laughs> these people need Jesus. Yo, man. So there you have it. it. Oh, what's that? classic saying the internet has made people way too comfortable yeah <laughs> so uh thank you for joining us on today's segment of is it really that bad yeah, yeah also that... make sure sharing your darkest secrets <laughs> on the thing that did not ask you to do that <laughs> <laughs> hey they posted it publicly yeah, I so i stink and eat shit but <laughs> what's wrong with that eat shit is that really so against the law <laughs> Oh man, that was a good one. All right. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Thank you guys so much for watching that. Check out our Patreon in the link in the description and merch coming soon. We'll have a bunch bunch of new videos coming out very soon for you guys. If you have anything you'd like to see us do, leave in the comments down below. Um and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I got some baby shit toward you. <laughs> You're traumatized. <laughs> a little bit. You're like legitimately. I guess yeah, it's like yeah, I've been alive for such such a long time, and I feel like there's a few things that I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> but that one is just like, damn, I ain't never even, not even like hypothetically have I thought about how funny it is to like sniff baby poop and be like, whoa, buddy, that's nice. Like, my <laughs> brain never made that connection of how funny that is. Really? That's that's a good, that's a great point. Yeah, the older you get, the less stuff will. Oh, like genuinely cool. shocking! Like, <laughs> okay, damn, I, that's, yeah, honestly, yeah, good job. Damn, honestly, damn. Should be. respect, respect. I'm gonna go eat some kiwi skin. <laughs> See you later.